Hi, a video and audio transcription is your thing. You probably might want to try out Gglot, a website that allows you to transcribe both audios and video files with ease. As part of that also, you can also translate the transcribed files to about 60 different languages. This is awesome, I must say. Now, to get started, all you need to do is to go ahead and then um, click on try Gglot and then you are going to be asked to provide your details. So you provide your name, your email address, your password, and then how you heard about Gglot. And then you go ahead and hit on register for an account. Now, once you're done with this, you have to verify your account by clicking on the verification link, which is going to be sent to your email. Now, in my case, I already have an account with Gglot. So what I'm going to do next is simply click on login and then login into my account. I'm going to go ahead to login into my account and then we take a look at what Gglot has to offer. So as you can see, I'm logged into my account and this is the dashboard. On the dashboard, you have a couple of things in here. So you have cost per minute. That is if you're having audio videos transcribed, this is what it will cost per minute. That is 0 0.09 cents, which is very low, I should say. And then you have total uh, minutes of nine. Um, so that's my case, I have total nine minutes remaining. And then the total expenses I have done already. So in this case, um, when you are signing up for a free account, you actually have $1 to work with. And per what I've done so far, I've transcribed two um, video files, and then I've used about, or I've spent about 0 0.63 cents and all. So I have about 0 0.37 cents remaining. And then you have a total of, you know, three files showing here. So which we'll take a look at shortly. So you also have some, you know, graph representation of whatever you've done so far shown here as well. Now, when you come to the transcriptions on the left-hand section, you have um, how you can actually have audios and videos in your transcribed. So the first option is you can click to select, or that is choose the audio or video file you have on your system. And so that you can just go ahead, click this, upload it, and then you select or specify the language, that is the source language, and then you upload. Now the second option, which I find to be a very cool one, is you can easily put in a YouTube um, that is link over here. So this is a link that I have tried before. Let me just go ahead and open YouTube and then copy a link to the link section over there. So here's a video I want to have transcribed. So what I'm going to do next is simply copy the link in here. So I'm going to copy this link, come back to Gglot, and then I'm going to paste this link here. So once I'm done, I come to the source language section where I specify the language that I'm speaking into. This is in my case, it is English, but when you specify English also, you need to specify the country. So it makes it easier for the two to be able to transcribe properly. So I'm going to select Ghana because I'm in Ghana and then I'm going to go ahead to hit on upload. So this is going to take some few seconds to have this done. Now, once that is done, we'll go ahead and take a look at how to edit the transcribed file as well as also tra um, translate it in case we want to do that also. So as you can see, the transcription is actually um, here. And once we click on get transcription, we get to see whether it is done or not. So in this case, it's not done yet. So let's go back to transcriptions. And then this is giving us a sign that this is still in progress. And once it's done, we'll go ahead and take a look at it. So after about a minute, the transcription is done. And what we have to do next is simply click on open to see the transcribed file. So as you can see, um, we have the text over here. Now I must say that the accuracy level of this is 90 to about 95%, which is totally cool. If you could have a transcription done probably with that high, you know, um, accuracy rate. So all you have to do here is to go through the transcribed file to see if there's some few um, corrections you probably might want to make. So in this case, you also have a player over here. Once you click on play, it highlights the text based on what is being said. And then you are able to, you know, make changes to that based on what you are hearing. So this, I must say, is actually a very cool tool. You, call, you can also um, select the, that is the speed rate that you probably would want to, um, you know, have this audio or video being played. Now, once you are done with the corrections and changes and everything, what you have here is to either save this. So once you log back into your account, you can go ahead and make changes to it, or you can also translate this. So this is where the languages, there's about 60 different languages comes to play. So you select, the specific, um, you specify the language you want to transcribe this particular file into. So let's say in my case, I want to transcribe this into Spanish, and then I get to specify the country. So maybe I want to um, select, you know, Mexico, and then I go ahead and then come to the transcription type. 
So in this case, I have two options. I have the document and then I have subtitle. Now the document is the entire um, transcribed file. And then subtitle is in case you are doing this for YouTube. So as you saw that this was from a YouTube link, I probably would want to have this as subtitle. So you go ahead and then specify that and then you go ahead and then hit on translate. And this is going to get done in some few seconds for you. So let's come back to the dashboard. Um, that is the transcriptions instead. So once we come back to the transcriptions and then we click on open again, the next option available here is to export. So we can actually export our transcribe file to either PDF, Microsoft Word, Excel, or even plain text. And then finally to YouTube subtitles. So in case you want to do this to for YouTube, you can just go ahead and then select that and then export this into these different file types over here. Now the next option here is translations, which we've already seen. Um, this allows you to translate this particular transcribe files to different languages. Then you have payments. So this whole thing works like a wallet. You upload money into your account and based on the transcriptions you've done, you, um, you do, you have this being debited from your account. And just as we saw on the dashboard, the rate for a minute is 0 0.09 cents, which is very, very low. I must say. Now, the good thing is you can actually try this out by using the one dollar balance um, that you have in your account. And once you're OK, you can go ahead and, you know, make some payment and I get more transcription done. And then also you have plans which allows you to, you know, uh, make some payment for based on the kind of transcriptions you probably will be doing. And then you also have, you know, some kind of, you know, benefit as part of that. So we have the starter or the start, you have business as well as you have pro. And then finally, you have referrals. So in case you are able to refer other people to use this service, you get some, you know, $5 benefit of that. So basically, this is Gglot, which I find to be a very cool tool. In case you want to have some audios or video transcribed, just go ahead and try it out. And then let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.